Hi, this is David Rizzo from Rogers Gardens, and today I'm going to show you how to grow citrus in Southern California. When choosing a variety of citrus for your area, consider where you live. Are you closer to the coast? Are you farther inland? Some of the larger varieties of citrus, like blood oranges and grapefruit and Washington navel oranges, they need more heat. They'll do better farther inland. Some of the smaller varieties like lemons, limes, kumquats can tolerate cooler conditions and they do better on the coast. Some of my favorite lemon varieties are the Myers lemon and the Eureka lemon. The Meyer lemon is a good dwarf variety and the fruit are very sweet. And the Eureka lemon is a taller variety and the fruit are more tart. My favorite limes include the Bears lime, which is a larger lime that's sweet and then the Mexican thornless lime, which is the smaller key lime, and that's more tart. Some of my favorite oranges include the Valencia orange and the Washington navel. The Valencia orange is a good juicing orange that does good along the coast, whereas the Washington navel does better farther inland where it gets the heat it needs. Some of my favorite mandarin oranges include the Kyushu mandarin orange, the Page mandarin orange, and the Satsuma. All of these mandarin oranges are smaller varieties and they're seedless. When choosing an area to grow citrus in your yard, you want to make sure that you find an area that gets six to eight hours of full sun, and that's either growing them in the ground or growing them in containers. When planting citrus in the ground, I like to dig a hole twice as wide and about six inches deeper than the root ball. I like to incorporate Malibu compost and earthworm castings about 50% with the native soil and make sure that that water drains good. You want to make sure that citrus don't get overwatered, or if the soil is really heavy, try to break up that clay to make sure it drains. And when watering citrus, you want to make sure that you're watering deeply and infrequently. Citrus always like to have a slight dry out period between waterings. A good fertilizer to use on citrus is the Dr. Earth Fruit Tree Food. I will use about one to two handfuls per plant. In the ground, I will feed them about every six to eight weeks in containers. I will use it once a month. In addition to fertilizing, I like to use Citrus Growers Blend because it has a good source of trace minerals, iron, zinc, magnesium. And when using Growers Blend, I like to use it twice a year, in the springtime and then in the summer. Here are some of the organic products I recommend for insect control. Sluggo is a great organic bait to use for snails around your citrus and it's safe to use around pets. And for any sucking insects like scale, whitefly, or mealybugs, I look at some of the light oil sprays. Takedown is a good one to use that's based off of canola oil. And for citrus leaf miner, I recommend using spinosad early in summer and if they get really bad through summer, you can use some of the tent traps. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned from some of my tips and have a great harvest.